Tyson Fury has finally given the expected reaction to the altercation that left his father with a tear on his head. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Let's go! Let's fucking go! You'd expect total madness from any son that sees his father wounded, and that's what Tyson Fury has just done. After initially sounding cold about the brawl, he not only lashed out at Oleksandr Usyk's team, he also promised his father a revenge in the ring. <laughs> You know, I'm saying to everybody with a pair of ears, you know, let's be respectful to one another. All I can see, you say, you say, what do you think we'll stand there with our fingers in our mouth? Not the match between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk has been dubbed the Ring of Fire. I guess you know what fire does. It spreads. And like wildfire, the Ring of Fire spread into the buildup just yesterday after a terrible incident happened. Well, if you've not heard, you might think the boxers had a face-off and it just got messy. But no, both boxers haven't had their face-off, as it was the first day of a long week, where they'll meet almost every day, as they prepare for the undisputed heavyweight championship clash on May 18th. And rather than the two boxers clashing, it was members of their teammates that had a brutal face-off that culminated in a bloody headbutt. For Tyson Fury, whenever you hear about members of his team, you'd expect the mention of his father John Fury, one of the most outspoken fathers in boxing history, the man who always makes it all about him. And should there be an award for such, he would only be closely matched by the father and manager of Devin Haney, the World Boxing Council super lightweight champion. Devin Haney, Bill Haney, it remains unfathomable why a 59-year-old man would want to get into anything close to a bloody brawl. Well, that's John Fury for you, a man who was SSO unhesitant to challenge Iron Mike Tyson into a boxing matchup during the press conference of the match between Tyson Fury and Francis, where Mike was Francis's trainer. Anyone alive who fights John Fury, I'm here ready to go. Not to your man. Me and you will fight straight after. Yeah! And this time, he didn't just challenge the opposing team into a fight, he went ahead to kick off the fight with his head. But sadly for him, it started and ended on his head, as it became bloody. Tyson Fury's father, John Fury, was embroiled in a fracas during the pre-fight media day. Fury Sr. was seen launching a headbutt at one of Oleksandr Usyk's entourage security stepped in, and Fury Sr. was pictured with blood pouring from a cut. Behavior. It's bad behavior because it's big man. It's father. It's not street fighter. This is this is like son. Tyson Fury's father headbutted a member of Alexander Usyk's entourage after he entered his space and disrespected his son. He has admitted. John Fury was left bleeding from his forehead after he launched the attack in the lobby of the Riyadh Hilton Hotel in Saudi Arabia. Footage that quickly circulated on social media showed Fury Sr. lashing out with his head towards Stanislav Stepchuk, who was wearing Usyk's team tracksuit. He then had to be restrained after security stepped in to prevent any further confrontation. Fury Sr. has now revealed that he became embroiled after members of Usyk's camp repeatedly roared their man's name at Fury's entourage. Blood for this fucking shit! I live for blood! Stop Tanara! Blood come Tanara! I live for this shit! I was sat there minding my own business, he told IFL TV, wearing a cap that covered up the mark on his head. All I could hear was, Usyk, Usyk, Usyk. He described the chanting as madness and said he launched the headbutt after some little idiot came forward in my space. Tempers flared after the two teams crossed paths in the hotel lobby on Monday, leading to a violent confrontation that overshadowed the pre-fight media day ahead of Saturday's undisputed world heavyweight title fight. Both camps were chanting the name of their respective fighters, but John Fury crossed a line when he became physical and assaulted Stepchuk. 
There was a football atmosphere as both camps tried to deafen the other with chants, but Fury became the hooligan. Footage of the incident showed Fury Sr. touching heads with one of Usyk's group, and having been pulled away, then appearing to headbutt another of the Ukrainian's party. It was the 59-year-old father of the Gypsy King who was cut, however, and despite his attempts to wipe the blood away, it continued to flow. He had to be restrained repeatedly while Usyk's camp repeatedly roared their man's name at Fury's entourage. When asked what had happened, Fury Sr. said he was minding his own business but became embroiled by how they were disrespecting my son. Speaking to another news source, he said, All I could hear was, Usyk, Usyk, Usyk! Coming out with all that rubbish! He's in my face trying to be clever! Coming into my space, Usyk, nobody's bothering with them! I was only chanting my own son's name! Fury Sr. added, I'm going to stand up for my son. At the end of the day, my son is the best in the world, and I want people to respect him and give him the credit that he deserves. He's the best in the world. And when people start saying this and saying that, when I was among them, all I could hear was madness. Some little idiot came forward in my space. He got what he got, and that's the end of it. He had walked away from the fracas, screaming, we live for blood and guts. I just want to apologize to my uh, good friend, His Excellency, about my behavior this evening in the greatest country in the world, Saudi Arabia. Apologies. Thank you. Buddy. God bless you. Thank you. Fury Sr. did issue an apology, however, telling seconds out. Sincere apologies to everyone involved. It's just the way we are. Emotions and tensions are running high. Fury Sr. apologized for the incident, but insisted he had been provoked into the headbutt. He was a very disrespectful fella. If you come close in a fighting man's space, you're gonna cop something. What matters to me is respect for my son and he wasn't showing any of it. He mentioned my son and that was it. So he had to have it. It doesn't bother me bleeding. It's what we live for. We're fighting people. What do you think we're going to stand there with our fingers in our mouth? Not doing nothing. I'm full of testosterone, man. I'm ready to go 24 hours a day from my boot to the top of my head. That's what I want to do. I want to get in and stuck in. Whip, 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 whip. Usyk's promoter, Alex Krasyuk, admitted the confrontation was a bad look for the sport. I apologize because I thought initially that one of our guys hit John, but then I saw the video and saw it was vice versa, Krasyuk said. So do I take my apology back because it was his misbehavior? He has to apologize because this does not give a good impression about us to the rest of the world? It's up to him. Usyk's team and Fury's team are fighters. It wouldn't be good if it got out of control. Usyk would say, don't touch my guys, they are dangerous. Tyson Fury missed the incident after speaking to the media in a side room. However, Tyson Fury was in shock when seeing his father pour with blood, but began laughing as he knows what John is capable of. What's happened to your head, you silly? How have you cut yourself like that? Tyson asked. Initially, he didn't have a full grasp of the happenings. He only knew there was a brawl, and when he was asked about it, he replied as one who truly had little knowledge of what really played out. I didn't see anything. I was in the room doing interviews, but I'm not here for all that. I'm here to get the job done and go home and rest, the heavyweight said. But once he got a full grasp of the event, Probably after getting the narration from his father, he soon became more furious in another interview. Of course, you'd expect one as vocal and dramatic as John Fury to be a little exaggerated in his narrations, hence Tyson's Fury. That was really crazy. I spoke to my old man and he told me everything. I don't know, but I refuse to be distracted by that. I'd revenge for him in the ring. He wants some blood in return. I'll get it for him, he said. According to Sky Sports, Saudi Arabian authorities have said no charges are being pressed and that no further action will be taken at this stage. However, boxing fans have called for Fury Sr. to be banned from attending Saturday's heavyweight unification. Fury has made a habit of attempting to cause chaos in the buildup to big fights involving his family of fighters, but has taken things to a new level with his latest violent demonstration. Boxing supporters are furious with the actions of Fury Sr. and have called for fight organizers to discipline him severely. Posting on X, one boxing fan said, ban him from attending the fight. Another similarly shocked viewer commented, why does John Fury have to make it about him? Don't think I've ever seen any other boxer's dad so crave the limelight, embarrassing. 
Others described Fury Sr. as an absolute clown for his headbutt, while a different online post read, He bopped the smallest guy. That tells you all you need to know about John Fury. Fury previously served three years in prison for assault in England after gauging a man's eye in a brawl. Hey Wayne, we'll find out who the actor and who the Achilles is. You ever watch the movie Troy? And you got the two top fighters of that era. Hector! Imagine being Hector, having to go out and fight Achilles in front of the world. That's what this is. Tyson Left was stunned after seeing his father had been left with a bloodied face. The unbeaten rivals meet for the first time at the Kingdom Arena, with Saturday's clash crowning the first undisputed heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis in 2000 and the first of the Four Belt era. World Boxing Council champion Lewis won the WBA and International Boxing Federation titles from Evander Holyfield in 1999, and Tyson Fury feels the weight of history as he declared, I can't wait. It's unbelievable to be out here. Everyone is on a high. Big time boxing in Saudi Arabia is fantastic. I'm going to enjoy this week because it's been many years coming, so we'll enjoy it. I feel on top of the world and I can't wait. Yeah. Then I'll come down with an illness, a flu, chest infection, yeah. whatever, yeah. Yeah. and then it's all fucked. Yeah. God forgive me for the swearing again. However, I got a really, that's the main concern at the moment, is monitoring the uh, training. Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight king, won his World Boxing Association, International Boxing Federation, and World Boxing Organization titles by outpointing Anthony Joshua at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in 2021 before successfully defending them against the same opponent in Jeddah a year later. Attempts to match him against Fury repeatedly fell through until an agreement was finally reached in September. But even then, the original fight date of February 17th had to be aborted when Fury suffered a cut in training. Before they climb into the ring, a week of promotional activity awaits, with Usyk sure to be targeted with mind games by Fury. But the Ukrainian insists he will not be paying attention. I'm doing good, I'm happy and I'm hungry. I don't care how Tyson will be this week, I'm ready, Usyk said. For me, May 18th is important. What Tyson does in the press conferences doesn't matter. I don't think about Tyson Fury now, I've seen him in a lot of fights. I don't know how he will box against me. We will see when we get into the ring. Important is this. Listen, it's very important first time for me, but it's very important uh, for my country. I prepare for this fight for 22 years. Uh, it's a big event for Ukraine. Tyson Fury has said he intends to become the first 500 million pound heavyweight boxer in history ahead of his titanic clash against Usyk on Saturday. The two fighters will go head-to-head -head in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia this weekend in a bid to become the first undisputed heavyweight champion of the world since Lennox Lewis. Fury sustained a nasty gash above his eye during a sparring session, causing the original February date to be pushed back to May 18th. In sparring, I arranged to spar 12 rounds with four different guys. In round five, I got an elbow in the eye, a split eye, and obviously I've been to the hospital and had 11 stitches. Um, they have the medical reports, they have everything. Uh, have a look at the eye. With his 36th birthday quickly approaching and a historic achievement just one win away, many would be forgiven for expecting the Gypsy King to finally make good on a retirement announcement in the near future. But ahead of the clash, Fury stated his intention to fight another eight to 10 more times to the age of 40 and revealed his ultimate driver. Happy days, with those fights, I'll become the first 500 million pound heavyweight boxer in history. He told The Telegraph, some legacy that would be. This is an important fight, but again, I hate to say it because the boxing fans and the boxing purists and all them idiots, they don't wanna hear it, but why do you think I box? For the money. If anybody in this building or anybody in professional boxing tells me they don't do this game for money, they're lying to you and I speak from the heart. Tyson Fury revealed that his motivation is to keep racking in the large sums on offer in blockbuster fights. I do it for the dough. The bigger the deal, the better. I'm a prize fighting pugilist specialist. That's what I do. I fight for the prize. Whether it be gold bars, gold coins, cash, transfers, cars, whatever you want to pay me, Pay me in bags of sand for all I care. As long as I can make a drink on it, deal done. A foreigner sitting up here with me. You get any American, any British fight I've ever fought in 
nearly 20 years as boxing, no one has ever competed with me on speaking. So especially not some foreign man who speaks broken English. Um, as for all the stuff people, the camp said and all that, you know. The monetary might of the Gulf state and the passion of the Saudi minister Turkey al Alshik make Fury's ambition a realistic one. According to the independent contracted to earn 70% of the total purse. And that purse is bulging at a value of 116 million pounds, meaning Fury is due to take home 81.2 million pounds. However, he will have to donate 1 million pounds of his earnings to Ukraine, Usyk's homeland, amid the invasion of Russia. That requirement is stipulated in his fight contract. Fury has also admitted that he knows the Usyk showdown could take years off his life, but says he is living for today. That is the price the Gypsy King knows he pays every time he takes one of his giant strides over the ropes into what is being promoted here in the Arabian desert as the Ring of Fire. So it's needed just to get to add a little bit of spice to this and, and that training camp where you... Not, not really, you know, because Van Gogh probably had his haters, but I don't know who they were. And someone who's saying negative things about somebody else is not relevant and no one will remember their name. Tyson Fury admitted that he believes every time he leaves the ring, he returns with less than when he went in. At 35, he is acutely aware that the debilitating effects of a grueling battle worsen with age. Nor is he in any doubt that the plunging of his own World Boxing Council crown into the furnace of Ukrainian war hero, Usyk's World Boxing Association, International Boxing Federation and World Boxing Organization world titles will be as scorching as they come. Fury sits back after acting up on the promotional stage as boxing showman supreme, so the parallel success of retrieving his mental health from bipolar depression reveals itself. Of this occasion, he says, I do believe that every time you enter the ring, you will leave with less than you had when you went in. Each big fight takes a little bit more out of you. It's a good job that I live for today. If I thought about the future, I'd be screwed. As Apollo Creed said to Rocky in the movie, there is no tomorrow. In my faith Catholic, there is no tomorrow either. Jesus said that when he comes back, it will be like a thief in the night. No time, date, or hour announced. So be prepared for it at all times and live for the day, because tomorrow ain't promised. Fury emphasized that philosophy as he recalled lost friends and family. There are a few people I've known who went to bed one night and didn't wake up in the morning. So I greet every day as a blessing. I enjoy every day. And whenever people ask me how I am, I just say I'm alive. That's a good start to any day. Fury has a legion of supporters against judgmental critics of his ticket-selling exhibitionism. And if he defeats Usyk, he is expected to be favorite for the first time to become BBC Sports Personality of the Year. As for taking huge bucks to bring this biggest of all fights thousands of miles away from his home fans, he references departed followers by saying, If any of the people around my career are missing, it means they're dead, because those not physically here can watch it live on TV. I'm sure the dead have better things to think about than a boxing match. If they're up there in heaven, they're doing heavenly things. If they're in hell, they're burning. Conscious of his own mortality, he goes on. For myself, it's always one fight at a time. The last five years have passed like that. 2019 feels like yesterday. But my daughter was a little girl then, and now she's massive. When you're doing your thing, the years pass quickly. There's talk of me having 10 more fights. If so, I want them quickly. 10 fights in no longer than five years. Let's rack them up. If you look back at the greats, at 35, they were told they were finished. Over the hill. All right, I was probably a better fighter in my early 20s. Now in my mid-30s, the fountain of youth has left me. Now I'm no spring chicken, but I have the wisdom. I have to put youth to one side and use my experience and mentality. Starting this Saturday night, he is set to make history by becoming boxing's first undisputed world heavyweight champion since Lennox Lewis. Oh, he hasn't got no personality, I don't think. Hey, Derek, that's not personality. Get up! There we are. Thank you very much. That personality! And John Fury seems so sure of this, taking a step further in acting out the confidence he has in his son. But for all of the bravado former fighter John is showcasing, he has put his money where his mouth is. He exclusively told Sunsport he has placed a huge bet on Tyson that could either make him rich or skint. John did not specify the details of the wager, but insisted he believes the bout will be over within nine rounds. 
I'll bet you fifty thousand pounds. I don't like to bet. I don't like to bet. I'll bet you fifty grand, hundred grand. I'm not bold. I'm a man of my word. It's not about betting. It's about my opinion. My opinion is good. Yeah. Wilder won't crack. He's not cracking. He also claimed Usyk won't be able to handle Tyson, and that the Ukrainian will get worn down by his son, start missing his shots, and be stopped. But another action from the Furies that caught the attention of the boxing world was when Tyson Fury appeared in a manner that sent shockwaves down the spine of many who saw him. Ahead of Saturday's undisputed heavyweight fight between Oleksandr Usyk and Tyson Fury, the latter was seen leaving media day on crutches as fans began speculating whether the bout would be called off for a third time. Fury later returned without crutches, as his father, John Fury, headbutted a member of Usyk's camp but came off worse as blood poured from his face. Tyson Fury vs. Alexander Usyk is expected to go ahead as planned, despite some fans expressing concern as the Gypsy King was using crutches just five days before fight night. Here we go again! One user wrote on X when seeing a video of Fury hobbling. However, most fans assumed it was an act, with one adding, clearly a stunt, before another wrote, the Furies are always a circus. The fight has already been rescheduled twice, and Fury will be fined 10 million pounds if he pulls out again. Let's go, John. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Fury! And that's all for now. If the first media day in the build-up to the Tyson Fury vs. Alexander Usyk match was this bloody how do you think the rest of the week would look like, and even the match itself, let's know your thoughts in the comments section. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.